Long ago, a wanderer brought an enthralling gift to the people of Embervale. The elixir. It was a cure, a blessing, a weapon. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. Elixir and blood, a drop for a drop. But from the depths of the wells, an unforeseen curse crept into Ember Vale. The shroud, a ruinous fog which sought only to spread and devour. Facing their downfall, ancients and humans united to forge the Flameborn. Now, your time has come. Awake. I feel like he's having a nightmare right now. All right, guys, welcome to Enshrouded. A game I've been looking forward to, and we're waking up in some kind of pod. It's an open world fantasy survival. Here's my little guy. Okay, we've got UI. I'm obviously I'm playing on uh playing on PC. And I'm uh I remember. If you enjoy the content, like, subscribe, and also leave a comment, even if it's just an emoji. But welcome to the channel. Hopefully on a good morning, afternoon, or evening. And uh I've been uh, really anticipating this game. Been looking forward to it. It's been on my wish list for a while. And we're in some kind of room. The performance is running pretty well right now. I'm getting about 70 FPS. That's without DLSS as well. But we are in an enclosed chamber. Oh, hello. Cinder Vault. Ooh. Friendly. Commune with the flame. You slumbered uh, for too long, Flameboy. The realm of Embervale has fallen, consumed by the Shroud. Now the Enduring Flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. Okay. Wait, is this... Am I straight in the open? I tell you what, though, this is... Uh... This is pretty. This is really pretty. Claim a spot for your base. Reach the plains. A vast world awaits you, filled with secrets and peril. Press I uh, and navigate to your map to track your discoveries. So we can press I to go into inventory. Press M. So we've got a world map. Head into this general direction down here. We've got a journal with quests. The flame, craftspeople, workshop, lore and tutorials. Crafting all discovered recipes for this crafting station are saved here. You can quickly navigate different categories by selecting these icons. Here you can find requirements and ingredients for each recipe. And you can pin recipes to get a notification once you've collected enough ingredients to craft the pin recipe. Okay. Then we've also got a backpack. Uh, character. So we can equip armor and rings and all this kind of stuff. Currently level 1. You can see our whole attribute in here which is pretty insane so we can see our buffs and all that kind of good stuff and we've also got a big massive skill tree as you can tell so we can head down the assassin route a ranger route a beast master survivor athlete barbarian warrior tank battle mage healer wizard trickster there is a lot to kind of go down here i mean i don't know what the max level is or anything like that i never played the demo when it first came out so i'm jumping into this raw and exploring this for the first time. But I'm super interested in looking into the building aspect. And it looks like we kind of need to head down there to that kind of red beacon. And uh, all I know is that we've got to kind of keep out the sh these shrouds. That fog down there. Because that's where the enemies kind of uh, live and defend. What was that? 
weird sounds. A little cave here. A little mine. Hello? Okay. So we can attack with this. We can hold it if we can throw it. If I press Alt. I can change between my tabs at the bottom. And we have got a buff right now because we are rested. Because we, we have been sheltered. Warmth and comfortable. We'll keep our buffs up as well. Oh. That was kind of cool. Them little wisps lighting these lanterns. Use terraforming tools or explosives to forge a path through the rubble. Explos uh, explosive powder barrel at uh, balls can be thrown explosive barrels or detonated at range. Okay. Ineffective. So we can't use the explosive. Oh, never mind. We can. So I wonder why it can't be ineffective then. Let's give that a quick kick. Hatchet, melee weapon. 11 damage. Gather round, we're drinking. An ode to the queen once young. Three babes are a cup filled to the brim, thinking out loud she's sung. Rather mead in my cup, or my cup filled with rum. Drink too much, rather than be done. Can only have some, so shared around. <laughs> drink too much, rather than drink what? Rather mead in my head and my head on the run, than my head on a pike with none. Get the rum and the mead, get the mead in the cup, get the cup to your head, drink up. I feel like I should be dancing when I'm singing that. Well, reading that. I tell you something, it's really nice though. Like, I'm getting really good performance right now. And if you are new to the channel, you need to know like, any specs or anything, they're all in the description below. I'm gonna get a good uh, ballpark. What's up here? Anything? Oh, it's just kind of taking me back up there. The music's kicking in, though. Can we do anything with this? Jesus! I totally forgot I, I had the, the bombs in my hand. Okay, we go. I got another torch and bandages. There's another torch over there. And I go into the cave. So we can, like terrain manipulate as well we need to get the pickaxe for that and we can make tunnels we can make a little hobbit village if we wanted to and like i said it's all voxel based so there's a lot of things we can do within the game the flame allows you to resist the shroud but if you linger you will perish escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud okay so i'm gonna guess there's gonna be some stuff we can kind of like use for boosts against the shroud so we have five minutes in this right now before we start taking damage. Press tab to lock onto fours. Press control to dodge. Okay, so that's an explosive. I thought it was a sleeping enemy or something. There's a plant. Oh, this is... Hi! Torn cloth. Shroud spores, material. Friendlies. Friendly! I feel like I should be really using the hatchet. More towing cloth, more shroud spores. And more shroud spores as well. Okay, we're coming out on the opposite side of this now. What is this? If you fall, you will rise again at your last return beacon. And we've just unlocked the workbench as well. And a construction hammer at the workbench. There's like a little encampment here as well. While equipped with a shield or melee weapon, press right mouse button to block. A well-timed block will parry an attack. Is that a sword? New location charted. And we've just got to level two as well. Some string. We can sleep. Hard wood block plus one at the workbench. Captain's journal day one. Hold the chamber to your last breath. These were the words of the ancient one before he entered with a handful of our best warriors. It was the first time I'd seen one of his kind, and I expect it will be to the uh, to be his last. His face is burned in my mind. My life and those of my remaining soldiers are pledged to the sacred duty. Captain Arkwright. 
The thing is, I need to be more accessible with my hotbar right now because it's getting pretty full. Maybe I should just kind of head to the plains before I kind of start looking around this place, right? So we do have a stamina thing. That's what that little ring is as well. So I'm wondering if we eat some certain foods, we can get some running buffs or uh, stamina buffs and that. Recharge rate and all that kind of good stuff. I wonder if these will stay lit. Because I think that would be a great mechanic. If these lanterns are lit, it means we've actually explored this area before. And if we don't see any lit, we know we can kind of head in that direction and explore new opportunities. Okay, location reached. So we need to build a flame altar. So M opens the map. V opens crafting, which is flame altar. And for flame altar, we need stone. So we need to get some stone. Can I just punch these rocks? Okay, it kind of locks. It kind of there is kind of momentum. She's using my hatchet on it. I should now be able to build a an altar, a craft, and then how do I build this? Oh, it goes into my hot boy. It does. Whoa. Okay, so we've got like a top down kind of view, and we can kind of see this in uh, AOE of where we can uh, like a boundary kind of. Commune with the flame. <clears throat> you are not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid you in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby just outside the shroud's grasp. Okay, so building area is 40, 40, 40. We can upgrade it to extend its building range. We can strengthen the flame by gaining global benefits. Reset our skill points. Extinguish the flame to remove your flame altar. Beware, areas not protected by the flame will be consumed by the shroud. Place items will be lost. Okay. Upgrade altar. So we need to find one shroud core. And that'll double our size. So it means we can build in bigger areas and stuff, right? Uh, find the sleeping survivor. Travel through the shroud. I would like to kind of build like a little... Like... Grab some wooden stuff here. Oh, this tree's a strong one. Wood twigs, wood logs, twigs. We make a shield. So we can build, not building, it's crafting, is it? We need to craft it first. Construction hammer, which we can now make. Hammer of the Ancients. An ancient building tool fueled by the flame capable of quickly erecting various structures around your home can only be used within the range of the flame altar. And enter tab mod is... Do I... Do I, I need to craft it, don't I? Craft it and enter build mod. Select the shape you want to build with. Okay. We can just use our mouse wheel to go up and down here. Select the material you want to build with. So we can do control and up. And then open the sub menu to select from different shape categories. Okay. So if we press control and up, we'll be able to change between like rock and all this kind of stuff. But I guess we don't have the recipes for that yet. Alt for more shapes. So we can change between here, some corner pieces, some standard walls. It is all voxel based as well. So all like the textures will kind of merge together once placed next to each other. Okay. So I guess we can kind of go with wooden, like a wooden foundation. Craft blocks at the workbench. So we need to craft them and then build them. So we just need a couple more logs and some more string. And string we kind of just been finding like finding around. So if we just cut down a few more trees. Do I see a beehive as well? I do see a beehive. I wonder if I put this hatchet away. Can I... How do I put the hatchet away? There's no way to, for me to holster. H. Nope. G. F. T. Q. E. Y. U. No. But anyway, let's grab some more supplies. Get some more wood. I'm going to try and look around for some string. Maybe string can be made from fiber. Maybe. 
What's we got? Red mushrooms. Stones. Okay, this is a good easier way to get in stones. Just by grabbing these. And it breaks them into about three stones per each one. Let's have get some string from this. Plant fiber. Alright, here we go. Recipe unlock string. Okay, so we can. So we grab plant fiber to make this string recipe. I'm just gonna grab as much much items as we can right now. What is this? Oh, it's like iron ore or something. Some form of ore. Or even coal. But it looks very iron to me. There's a goat over here. Hey, come here. Rip. Animal fur. I don't know if anything in this shroud comes out at night time. I don't know if that's a mechanic or a feature. But I guess we'll find out. I wonder if these... We get some honey from here. Harvest. Okay, I didn't get attacked by bees. Good to know. But we got some honey and we got some wax. If I go into... Um, what was it to craft again? V. Uh, I still need some string. But to make string, we just need plant fiber, which we can... Now we can make a workbench. Beautiful. So if we go into build... Do we need to go into build mode or is it going to be in... There it is. Crafting bench. Put this down here. Okay, so we can place freely. And we can press X to snap as well. I kind of like that. So we can snap to grid. But then if we press X, we can free place as well. So, which is kind of cool. Craft and repair. Here we go. Rough stone blocks. So, stone blocks is going to be two generic uh, requirements. We just need the workbench. Rough wood block. Wooden logs. Tarred wood blocks. So, here's the different blocks that we can choose from. Roof blocks as well. Survival. Some storage. Just need more string for that. Twigs. A glider. The possibility to fly has always been desirable. a desirable trait. Press space while in the air to open the glider. Using the wind currents and the height of the starting point, it can be used to travel great distances in an instant. And then there's also a grappling hook. Which we need more of these shrouds, boys. String and metal scrap. Which we, f we found these from the enemies. So if we go into this shroud a little bit and explore a little bit, we'll find some of them. We need to get some shroud wood. I'm guessing head into uh, a fog, into a shroud and... Get some from that way. Storage. Just need string for that. But let's grab a few um, a few stone blocks here. I don't know how many I need. Oh, that's giving me... One is giving me... Oh, it's giving me 100. Okay, so how much is one building piece? So if I go to my build now. Press tab. And how much is that to place down? 256. Holy mackerels. So 256 for one stone block. Okay, that's... That's pretty expensive. I guess I just need to um, get as many stone as possible. We craft a few of them. I think I'm just going to make a two by one something right now. Is that... I don't know what this was then. It was like the uh, red mist kind of coming in. I like how the, the, the flame kind of lights up the whole kind of build area. I feel like that's pretty cool. So I can raise this by kind of looking up and down. And I can shift this backward and forward. Like towards me and away from me. We can rotate it with uh, 90, with R, but I guess we can't go on an angle. So let's kind of just put you there. And you there. And then we've got some walls here as well. Oh my god, these kind of high walls. So we can make half walls, full walls. I can change to different doorways. Place you down. It's going to make a small little shack. Oh, I've actually used all my stone already. So you switch into a half block actually changes the uh, amount as well. So it's not just clipping through the ground. It's actually making a half block with that. That's pretty cool. So we just need to get some more stone. Got as much as we can. Maybe I should come out of build mode, right? It'll be a lot easier. Here's some shroud over here. Anybody in here? Enshrouded. Can't grab any of these spores. I hear something though. Oh, there's a shield guy. Nice. 
Just seems to be the one. Never mind, I can hear somebody else. Oh, there's a... Oh, a cave. Friendly. Oh, he's got a spear. I didn't announce myself as friendly before. I have a bomb. What's this right now? Is this... Oh, okay, yeah. Don't go in them areas, Bitsy. So they explode, but then they can kind of give like a AOE effect. That's what the blue thing was, but science... Okay, this might be the place where I die. Yep, yep. Ooh, Stay out of them. Clears up pretty fast, but... There's a chest in here. Health portion, flint arrows. I hear a soldier. Oh, it could have been this guy, actually. Does kind of make sense that we could hear him above. Ruins. Ruins attract a, uh, and store magical energy from all around them. Used to enhance weapons. Okay. Shroud spores and twine cloth. Okay, right. Back to grab, grabbing some stones. So we can kind of just make a little shelter. My guy is currently cold right now. And uh, health portions. Okay, instantly heal for 200 health. There's another uh, creature over there. It's pretty dark to see, if I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think using the hatchet is the best right now. I'm just wondering if I can grab a... make a pickaxe or something. That might be a good way of grabbing uh, rocks, because I don't know if we, if we... when we terrain manipulate, if we can actually get them that way. So let's have a look here. Axe. We've got everything we can do to make that. A pickaxe. Here we go. So let's make a pickaxe. We can make a campfire as well. We need more twigs and more string. But we've got a pickaxe now. So if I go into my inventory, how do I organize what's in my inventory and what's not? Backpack. Oh, all in here. Okay, so this is the second column. I can rearrange all of these to my liking. Get the hammer in there as well. Bandage. Water and food. I think we were kind of good for that. What two torches in there, actually. Let's store one of them. Put the used one over there. Building blocks. Put the bomb in there as well. Here we go. I've got like a little thing now on my, uh, on my screen. So if I... Nice. So we're grabbing dirt and we're grabbing stone as well. And when we mine, we're actually grabbing some stone. So I can kind of make a tunnel all the way down. Make a little hole for herself. Then head over to the crafting table. I have run out of stamina though, so... Using your pickaxe, you are going to uh, use stamina. I find this kind of crazy though. <laughs> Spamming spacebar to make that. I did not want to do that. I just unleveled the ground. Rip. Right, so let's bring out our U. And I want to build a... I wanted to build a window here, right? So we're going to do that. With a wall here. One there. One there. And one there. I don't know if there's any physics required for... Ceilings. But now I've got a tiny little cave. And I'm going to guess we're going to need um, doorways. Doors, I should say. So we have roofs, four meter roofs, terrain. One meter. These are all building blocks. These are not actual placeables. I wonder if that's going to be in the crafting beds. Here we go. Fireplaces, doors. Wooden door. So we just need a workbench, but we need a wooden door resource. Oh, here we go. There's different tabs. It is kind of small, though. If they made it the little tabs here, I think I think I would have seen it. But <laughs> why would you put a double door before a wooden door? Isn't that more of an advanced material than this one? I need more string, though. 
pick up some more fibers, some more berries. And then I need to make some string. I'll just make as many as I can. And then if I go into the workbench, I think you should be able to make doors. I'm going to craft one of them. I want to make one window. So that means I can then place you there and a window into this gap, right? Yeah, that works. It just kind of jumped me up there. I would like to get some stairs. Okay, so we've just unlocked dishes, fences, wooden cups, crude wooden platters, crude wooden jug, fences, door. This is just all obviously decorative. Illumination with candles, benches, wood logs and resin, chairs, fireplaces, tables some beds as well i think i'm going to put a storage down so let's craft one of them it's a lot bigger than i thought it would be to be honest stick this in the corner what's the storage size on this okay quite a few one two three four five six seven eight not a bad rusty short sword i didn't even realize i had that i guess i must have picked it up off one of the um skeletons from the cave so we can shift tab shift or deposit all stacks of said item for example Deposit all. Just throws everything over there. Let's pull the sticks out. Pull the fiber out. Everything else can kind of stay in there. We'll keep the additional torch in there. Store another torch. I've got one on me now. So honey actually gives us stamina recharge rate as well. And berries give us just plus two health regeneration for 30 seconds. Red mushroom is plus one intelligence. And water gives us endurance and stamina recharge. So I think what I want to aim for next is I'm going to go try and build a campfire. So I just need wooden logs for that. Did I store all my wooden logs, actually? Uh, I did. Let's just pull them out. And I can make a campfire. And we can just kind of place that down there. We can cook. We can sit here. Place food in your action bar. Select it. Place food in your action bar. Select it and press the mouse button. Okay. So obviously I don't have food in here available. That's a big campfire, though. With some big logs. Pick it up. Put it down. I don't know if there's a timer on this. My rested is going up. My warmth comfort is level five. I'm currently sitting. So the more, I, the longer I sit here, the more time I get. So now I'm sitting at 10 minutes. I love how the uh, building everything kind of merges together. But now we've got to head 470 meters away to travel through the shroud and find the sleeping survivor as our first little quest. I guess we'll go rob some supplies. I don't know if I can do anything with a pickaxe with this actually. Flintstone. Let's grab some flint. So we can see that the vein actually goes a lot underneath the terrain than what it is. So this, this creating those mines. But I also noticed as well in the building, you can actually build. Um, it might be in the uh, campfire. You can actually build um, scaffolding. So if we need to build higher. I'm going to keep grabbing this flint. Grab as much as we can and we can store it. Because we'll probably need it for something. Alright, so I've been mining for about five minutes. And we've made like a big ass hole right here. And uh, the only thing about it is I need to get better stamina. Because I keep running out of stamina every now and again. I don't know how far this is going down. But I think I'm just going to reserve it as a little flint mine. Uh, how much did we actually get from that? We look into here. Flint. Where's flint? Is that, oh, that's flint. We've got 44 flint. I'm going to presume we're going to use this for arrows, maybe, and just put it with some twigs or some wood so we can make some arrows. Um, I'm going to actually stack that away before we uh, travel out. So, like I said, we've got like 460 meters to run to. Oh, there's actually some buildings over there as well. So let's store these flints, the stone, the dirt, anything that we don't really need right now, including the building blocks. And oh boy, that's a lot of shroud below us. It looks like there's different types of shroud, maybe. There's a red one and this normal standard grey. Can I see some, like, fortresses as well? More biomes over there. Snow biome in, like, to the north. So, by the looks of it, I don't know how big the map is. Oh, my God. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the? What? Oh, my God. Maybe the map is quite large. Okay. Good to know. So, we're still going to find this guy. And I even thought this was kind of pretty far but 
maybe I need to stop thinking about that with like the newest games that are coming out. I'm just thinking like, oh, maps are going to be pretty, you know, pretty standard. Because it's not like the world is randomly generated as well. It's a, it's a, it's a fixed world. But we can create it to how we want it because it's voxel based. Like we can do all the mining. We can make tunnels. We can make caves. Whoa. Um, nice dog. Sorry, puppy. Oh, raw wolf meat. So if we, if we eat it now, we'll get food poisoning, which is going to give it neg negative 75 stamina and negative 4 stamina regeneration for 45 seconds. Either that's 45 seconds or 45 minutes. I'm pretty sure that's 45 seconds. We'll take some bones as well. Oh, a wand. Wait a minute. Can I become Harry Potter? Wait, crafting? Back, back. Possessing magical properties. Bones of the dead are often used in alchemy. Well, I guess if I want to become a wizard, I can become a bloody wizard. Ah, I noticed that was coming up effective. I'm, I'm guessing these are pretty weak to sharp uh, weapons. Whereas maybe the skeletons might be uh, might be more resistant to them and require blunt objects to maybe kill them. I heard something else. Oh, it's the wisps. There seems to be like a little fort here. We might go and explore this a little bit. Like, I love how we're not being forced to kind of go and do this mission now. We can kind of just explore at our own peril. You know? At our own free will. And, uh... Wait, is this the fort we kind of... Oh, wait, long keep. This is the... Yeah, this is the first time we've come across this. Nothing in here. Something's walking over here, though. Hi, friend. Oh, oh, it's effective against him. Okay. Okay, what was it to lock onto him again? I forgot what it was to lock onto him. Okay, control, alt. Oh, tab. Okay. It's a tab to do it. Got it, got it, got it. Controls to roll. Some more bandages here. Oh, we've got another read, a book here. Finally, a break from the tedious work. My bones are sore, but the warmth of a fire and little shelter and some sleep should allow me to become well rested. Food is getting scarce. I hear by uh, I hear they're planning an expedition. Thankfully, I hid some rations below my bed. They will make for a nice meal when uh, when cooked over a fire. Hmm. So I can sleep here if I wanted to. Interrupt the campfires to cook food. Sit near them with X and become uh, to the wilds. I may as well just rest up here and get my uh, rest up to ten minutes again. I'm just not comfortable. Wonder why that is. So I'm guessing it won't go up as fast because I'm not comfortable. Okay, so it doesn't seem it doesn't go all the way up to ten. Maybe because we're not comfortable. If we was, it'll go back up to uh, 10, maybe. Have some more fiber as well. There's a well. Water is a great source for vitality. Scoop some water. Oh, I can just keep doing this. Okay. Good to know. So this might be... Uh, this is not far away from where we are. Like, to be honest, we're not even that far from base. This is literally where we started. There is something else up there that's trying to grab my attention. What the? Giant ass rat! What? You, sir, are not friendly. Just come running out of nowhere. Oh, there's another one. He kind of does like a double attack straight away. Fur patch. It's hiding around the bloody corner. I hear more, I think. Why do the rats have to be so bloody big? This guy died drawing a pain through some fruit and a voice. Jasmina, is it true? The ancients call upon, uh, upon you to stay behind as the rest of us slumber. Will you be there when, we, when I awake? Please, you cannot leave my side. You're all mine. Why must we change? I miss the old days when we used to travel. Side by side, you let me linger next to you. You held my hand and now... All this uh, secrecy for what? I thought you could confide in me. I don't want the ancients to drive us apart. I'll lose all faith. If you must go, at least give me a farewell kiss. All my heart, E. Huh. I'm liking these little lore things. All right, so let's try this again. So let's sit at base. There is some whole to cook raw lean meat. There we go. So I've come back home just to store the items. 
Because I feel like traveling over to the uh, this quest that we need to do is going to take some time. Oh. Okay. Good to know that it doesn't automatically put the cooked meat into your inventory. You've got to let go of it again to then put it in. Okay. So we can cook the mushrooms as well. Because if you leave them, you end up burning them. Okay. We've got a, quite a bit of food on us now. Food's over in this tab. But let's try again by heading over to this destination. Okay, so there's some sort of mining site over here. Maybe I've got to climb this to get up. Can I get up this? Or do I need the grapple to climb this? As a quicker route. There is some ladders for me to get up, but... Is this a quicker way for me to get up and down, or... A treacherous chasm that you'll need to grapple and hook to cross. There's literally a big message there, Bits. Just look up sometimes. You know what I mean? Big ass message on screen. Open. Health portion. Nice. Some fur stuff. Can't go that way. I think we're going to have to go across this bridge down here. To maybe get where we need to go. Because I don't think we can go around here, right? Or have I got to go down? Because our objective's here. We might have to go into the shroud. Because I'm just looking now. If we cross that bridge... It's going to take us to that tower, and I don't see a way of getting down, because it looks like we need to head over that way. Braylin Bridge. It has a name. Anything in here? Nope. Sleep. Another note. The raiders have besieged us uh, these past two days, attacking from the bridge. Uh, there eyes such madness. We have withheld so far, but only just... We may, we may not survive the next assault. I've ordered to rig uh, the pass with our last munitions. If those scavengers return, we are prepared. Captain Arkwright. Wooden arrows. Equipable. Okay, cool. Okay, let's head down here. But I think it's going to put me into this shroud. I have leveled up to level two. So I'm just wondering, have I unlocked a skill point? We have. We've got two skill points available. <laughs> but now what do I want to go down? Do I want to go down the... The whole warrior, or do I want to go down a survivor, a beast master, ranger, and assassin? Or do I head down into sorcery? I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards like my normal, kind of like an assassin, ranger, and trickster kind of. Beast master sounds pretty cool. Sneak attack. The sneak attack deals massive ten times damage to unaware enemies. Well, that means I might have to do a lot of stealthy stuff. Lumberjack. Felling axes do 30% more damage against wooden objects, including trees. Hmm. Well rested. The base duration for your rested buff is increased by 5 minutes. Survive, uh, savior. You only need 3 instead of 6 seconds to revive an ally. Merciless attack. Perform a merciless attack by pressing E to deal massive damage to an enemy you've overpowered. Overpower. To overpower an enemy, fill their stun bar by attacking while they block or by parrying their attacks. We've actually done that with one of these skeletons earlier. Like the Draugr's kind of. He went in like a daze. Mason. The pickaxe deals 30% more damage against stone objects, including resource veins. I think I'm going to go with this lumberjack and maybe the mason, you know. Because I think grabbing these are going to be essential for our base building anyway. So if we get lumberjack, that's going to cost two points. You know, and kind of go down these core little abilities here before branching out. Because we don't know, you know, what kind of path I want to take right now. Another letter. Captain's Journal, day 20. We are hungry. We had to destroy the bridge and with it our connection to supplies. But it worked. We haven't seen any more scavengers. The Cinder Vault and those within it are safe and should remain so. If we are to avoid starvation, we may have to take our chances in the horrible shroud. Either choice is certain death, Captain Arkwright. Okay, so let's grab another torch. Another chest. More arrows. And more exploration is needed. We are going down here now into the shroud, and I feel naked because I'm close. Stay on the path, lest the shroud can take you. Salvage lies ahead. Okay. Okay, this is... Oh my god, we're going pretty deep into the shroud now. What is that? Oh, it's another Draugr. Hey, friend. Okay, 
Okay, I'm guessing difficulty is going to be based on where you are in the world. Because there was no option in the main menu. Oh, Sigil Ring of the Elder Guard. Plus 8 stamina and plus 10 health. Did that equip? It is now. We'll have to be quick in here. I do want to know, though, if I'm reading. Oh. Ah, so, okay. So, we've got some restore time here. Which allows us to stay in this shroud a bit longer. But I'm going to try and stick to this path as best as I can to try and get out of here. I'll get to the other side. But I need to head in that direction. But I guess this is the only way across, right? Because the bridge is damaged. Okay. So, we've just come out of that little cave. I'm going to head up here. Can we climb this? Oh, we can. So, we can climb the mesh on the side of these. And we've reached the other side. And this is where that tower is. I'm just wondering if there's uh, if I should sleep in here while it's night time. That. So that almost a lit for us. Got another letter. Spectacular progress is being made. To all who set their eyes upon my wonder, uh, wondrous, not allow me to begin again. To all travelers, I have conquered this terrain with my greatness. I'm afraid that's not right either. The bridge is nearly finished and I cannot find the words to express my joy. Confound it. How luckily we had a bountiful mind so close by for materials and ore. One thing I do know, I'll name this bridge Braylin after my dearly departed fifth aunt. Though <laughs> if she's still alive, I'm not sure she would be flattered. For her and her bridge shall not just the, just the name, but a, <laughs> but a brush to nature. Signed, Cade Hawthorne. Okay. Okay, so there is a bed, so let's sleep. Do we get to choose how long we want to sleep? Oh, wait a minute. Night speed is going up by 60. Times 60 right now. So, that's pretty cool. There's no, like, fade to black kind of time. You just lie in bed and the time of day just kind of speeds past by 60. Uh, by 60. Okay, let's have a look at more in this journal here. Yeah, here we go. Look, building scaffoldings. We've got this stuff now, right? Let's have a look at our journal. Oh, this is the journal. A glider. Grappling hook. We got another door now. So a crude wooden door and a wooden door. Stone shingy shingle roof block and flint stone now. So it's just based on what we as a player just kind of run around and scavenge. Kind of how like how Valheim works, right? Kind of run around, grab what you want to grab, and all that kind of good stuff. And if I find some iron, it'll give me start giving me iron recipes. And I'll turn that iron, maybe smelt it. That'll give me some more more stuff. Whoa! Um. Certain backpack items are dropped when you perish. That guy fired a crossbow that fired like three, three bolts at me. Holy mackerels. What did I just lose? Um, quite a lot, actually. Okay, so at least the death thing still comes up, so I need to try and head back there now to try and grab supplies. But that's going to be a bit of a pain. At least I keep my weapon on me, though. So whatever's in our hot bar, it looks like we we keep in there. Okay. Well, let's cross. Go back over to that guy and try and kill him this time. He ambushed me. Um... I was going to try and creep back onto this bridge where this guy was. It looks like he's holding a minigun, but a crossbow instead. He didn't see me, though. I'm going to try and get a stealth attack on him. So it's just him. But there's my death crate right there. If he comes back this way, I'm going to jump him. I'm going to ambush him like he did me. Never mind. He, see he sees me behind this. Die! Metal scraps material. Remains of metal which was present to witness humanity's downfall. They might turn out to be blissful. Useful. Cloth. Okay, can I grab all my stuff now? Oh my god, I can grab everything. Nice. Now, they should be careful because more of them might jump out here. More of this. Can we not grab this? Oh, some traps. Can we disarm? <gasps> I did not mean to roll. Oh my god. Oh. 
Okay. I did not mean to roll near enough into them. I, I pressed the wrong thing. Okay. You can swing across uh, some uh, chasms using a grappling hook. Be on the lookout for those places. Okay. We just don't have a grapple just yet. All right. So there's a camp up here, literally just outside of the bridge. And it looks like there's scavengers inside of it. I can see one of them. I wonder if this. I wonder if they've got someone in prisoner. The, the guy we're looking for. Okay, there's two of them. Gotta watch out for the guys with the arrows. I don't think he's gonna hear me. What? Look at that skin. Hey. Okay, your friend's not heard us yet. Whoa. Easy, tiger. What did that just say there? Bushes. Bushes can conceal you when you're in crouch. Crouch inside and use them to sneak up on enemies. Okay. Good to know. Wait, hello? Music? Where, where's the bees? The bees, I'm getting attacked by bees. Okay, I'm just gonna eat some berries. Recharge my health. That's an explosive barrel, isn't it? There's a gateway there as well. Like a mine, I don't think it's gonna be a pass through. Another letter. The cinder vessel broke down during testing. The rat I used inside was charred by the coalescent flame. A bright flash, then nothing. Thankfully, the side effects of the blindness was only temporary. Uh, I've acquired a new subject, another rat, Igni. Hopefully, our path to salvation. I cannot accept more setbacks. I will ensure that this cinder vessel holds as, me as my life depended on it. It may well, Balthazar. A chest. Explosives, we'll take that. Another letter. Is this from Balthazar again? It is. Eureka. By the ancients, I've done it. Equilibrium. The subject sleeps yet can be awakened. They are dead, yet alive. The subject does not decay. Is untouched by the coarse flow of time, a flame soul in a mortal body. Igni serves as proof we can survive, we can endure. These cinder vessels will be our only chance to admit the shroud. We have no other choice, Balthazar. Is this like another side quest thing? Have we picked up another side quest here? So find the sleeping survivor, which is the main quest, and uh, claim a spot for your base, which is completed. Um, this world is lost but not barren. Survivors of the shroud will be around in the fire. Find the sleeping survivor marked on your map. You will have to venture through the shroud. Which we kind of know. Here we go. Ancient vault. Blacksmith. Oh, there's another one of them guys. Does he see me? He does. Friendly! I'm friendly! Okay, so I've kind of noticed if you, if you get a perfect block, you kind of stun them. You see that? Good to know. Metal scraps. So it's more of one of these chambers. This is where we come out of, right? Something similar. Venture forth, it's done. The cinder vessel is a delicate contraption, still volatile, yet brimming with potential and hope. The first human to enter will be our true prototype, the kindling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until roused anew, lest he slips into eternity. May the ashes of one age sustain the seeds of the next. Balthazar. Awaken survivor, Oswald, Anders the blacksmith. New recipe unlocks. Summoning staff. Right, summoning staff. Here we go. Just need twigs. So we can craft that. And what this? Needs building area. Okay. So what's this, sir? When you need rest, you can fast travel back to your home by opening the map by pressing M and navigate to the map and select your home. Home. Fast travel. Okay. So there is a bit of build up time. So you can't just do it in battle. I'm, I'm going to guess you might not be able to do that in battle. 
But we've got the summoning stuff. And we can... Uh... <laughs> hey! <laughs> Quest complete. Find the sleepings about. Nice. So, I guess we can have a little chat with you, right? Watch out! Sparks flying. <laughs> All right, so we can he can craft crafting first gear, cleansing fire, production place a forge, charcoal kiln, nails, felling axes, pickaxes, lock picks, one-handed weapons, armor, decorative pieces, and then there's alternate stuff. And this is where he's going to work. So we speak to him when we want any of these stuff doing. So that means when we do build our place, because that's the problem with survival games, right? Is you make your house, but every every person always puts the blacksmith in the house. They always put, you know, the kitchen in the house. They all kind of do all that stuff, right? So you could actually build a village and put these people in it. Croft, uh, first thing, took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny, and they call you a flameborn. First thing you need is a weapon. Luckily, you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword or a spike club will serve, you, uh, serve as well. Cleansing fire. So he's also got side missions to do. Ah. Emberville can uh, still be saved. Where there's ash, there's embers, kid. The shroud suffocates the valley, so seek the elixir well, your new gear, and raise the root of our misery. Ignite the depths and set this evil ablaze. Go on. I'm counting on you, Flameborn. Nice. Cool. So we've got this guy. And uh, we've also got another mission here, but we're going to do that actually next time. So thank you so much for watching. And remember, if you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, and also leave a comment. Uh, and let me know what you guys know as well. What you think of the game? What's your first impressions of it straight off the bat? And let me know what you want to see more of so I can uh, kind of look into it for future episodes. So thank you so much for watching. Keep smiling. And I'll see you in another video.